I'm not a strong, independent woman. Okay, uh, I need a man. I can't. No, I can't open the can. I this can't. is our soft life era. We don't want to do it all. She don't want to be a strong black woman. No. I don't want to be super mom. No, we need help. They lied to us. Help, Miss Independent. Well, well, who that? Who? Where they do that at? Not here. At what age did you wake up and realize that you no longer wanted to be a strong black independent woman? And this can apply to white women and men as well because I've definitely heard this term coined by a lot of people. But for me, it was about six months ago. I legit woke up, realized that I've slayed all of my goals. I have my career. I have my house. I have the car. I have everything else. And I don't want it anymore. If you can't relate to what I'm saying, then you can't relate to what I'm saying. But for me, at 32 and a couple more months left till I'm 33, I realize that my priorities are changing. And now I want to be a housewife. I want to raise children. I don't want responsibilities. I don't want to have a mortgage. Actually, I do want a mortgage, but I don't want it to be in my name. I honestly want to relinquish responsibility to an able-bodied man. Keyword, able-bodied man. And this is such a new thing for me. And this is epiphany. And this is something that I've been struggling with. Something that I've never thought that I would get to the point in my life where I no longer identified as a strong black independent woman. And it's crazy because I remember growing up or in my 20s, I would hear of women who would go out, they would seek these fabulous careers, attorneys, doctors, lawyers, whatever it is, whatever they wanted. And then all of a sudden, they would get married and they would give it all up. And I used to think, what the actual... Who does all this to give it up to be a stay-at-home mother? And then I turned 32 and a half. And I realize it is I. I am that woman. I yearn to be a stay-at-home mom. I no longer want to take on all the responsibilities. I want to delegate it to a man. I want to live a soft life. A lot of women today learn too late. They learn too late. They want to live in their soft girl era. Mm -hmm. Relaxed. Because um, winter is here, right? <laughs> and it's cold. Oh, it's real <laughs> cold, right? Um, there's a lot of women that have worked their asses off. Mm -hmm. They put effort. Cl they climb the mountain. In, they, they do what they need to do in regards to getting their degrees, mm -hmm. their jobs. But they don't put the same effort into getting a husband or even a man. Yep. So That's then don't you think the same effort that you put into getting your degrees and your mm -hmm. jobs, you should put into getting a man. Yeah. So now they're seeing I've worked my ass off. I've got the job. I've got the mortgage. I've got this. Yep. Something is missing. Hmm. The man. <laughs> I'm just saying. So now that you've hit the epiphany stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you want to cash out. Yep. And you're seeing this more and more today that's why i said we live in an age of information right so a lot of women that's younger is saying this ain't gonna be me but they ain't lived that life yet they ain't gone through that motion yet yeah we know when women hit a certain age they're not getting the same attention they're not as young and hot and as vibrant as they once was i want something different i want something different it's the wall nature is calling Yes. cash out while you can yes she learned too late she yeah. hit 30 yeah. it's too late Is it? now i'm not saying that you cannot get to married past 30 years old can they salvage i'm it? not saying that you can't get a man or um, or anything of the uh, above right i'm just saying that you've learned this too late because it's a mentality you've had for a long time time and they're gonna have to take it, time to even remove that exactly to re-educate themselves now yeah. your time is clicking in a way that i just don't even know because you have to find the man yeah you have to be with him for a while to to um what about children exactly Geriatric pregnancy, there's so 35. many things there's so many things to think about unlearn the same things that that, that 
it took you 28 years well you 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 got me you've been living this life for mm -hmm. 28 years or 35 years now i have to unlearn that exactly damn exactly and you don't have the time the time is not on your side as a woman i'm sorry these a lot of women like to say oh yeah i i want to um settle down in my 40s when i'm 40 when you're 40 like you've got time to play I think, around i think that's echo chambers <laughs> it's saying. stupidness that's echo chambers. but i'm just saying just to clear yeah. everything up she took too long to understand what she's understanding now she's left it too late does she is there hope for her possibly a sliver of a but chance. the the likeliness is very unlikely i'm not saying she can't have a child but it will most likely be a it's mistake thing yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'm just saying, ladies, do this stuff when you're younger. Stop doing all of this um, independent woman lifestyle thing because you will regret it when you're older. <laughs>